Hey guys, thanks for joining us down here in my house. This is the, the gym. We do a lot of good stuff here. I'm here with Wing Ma, down from Racer's Edge MMA, our Snake Bit USA World Headquarters, one of my, one of my best students down there and uh, one of the most loyal students. So Wing, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. We just did some good workouts today, working on old uh, war style Billy Robinson catch wrestling drills, fundamentals and stuff. And what I want to get to right now, um, just for this, this moment, is rides. Now there's a lot of rides out there. We can get the spiral rides and all kinds of things. I want to show you the basic ones that I really like that have worked well for me and have worked well for our students in the Snake Pit USA program. I'm not going to necessarily run through the Catch 9 drill, which I absolutely love. It is in the Snake Pit USA curriculum in German 1, German 2, and I believe Ripper 1. But I want to kind of just break down each position and show you how to combine them and work through them to create pain and pressure. Okay, and that's what really separates a ride from a position is that pressure and pain, that creating that discomfort. We always talk about ADD, right? Always doing damage. It's kind of what that goes along with. We're not really ripping, but we're creating pain in different ways with pressure. So let's just start with the turtle position, okay? Now Wayne knows exactly what to do with this. He's got gap one, two, three, four, and five. He's responsible to protect. My job right now, starting from here, if I'm coming in from this position, from top referee, is to apply what? Pressure, pressure, and then into positive control. It's our first priorities in the Snake Pit USA curriculum. So when I come in here, I don't tight waist, I come across with just that hip pry. My hand rests right on the hip flexor. That way, if Wayne goes to stand up, go ahead, right here. Before he even moved, I felt his hip flexor flex. I know he's moving, I can come across the cross things, I can body lock, I can do a lot of different things to work from there by just resting my hand. If I'm flexing my arm, I'm not gonna feel much. Make sure you guys are like a sandbag and not a dumbbell. Don't get here and flex. I want you to relax and be head. I'm here and flex. You feel much? Now relax. Now I'm heavy, okay? So I want you to relax. Another thing to add to this, this is just basic, basic stuff. You're like, oh, top referee, no big deal. There's a lot of little details you wanna look at. It's not just about getting in the arm. It's not just about things like that or pressuring the head. It's about the base. Every top position really comes down to the base and how you're using it to create pressure. If this knee is on the ground, I'm not getting much pressure. If this leg is straight, I'm not getting much pressure. So I bend this leg, take this knee off the ground, and I drive in a little bit. When you feel that? Yeah. Okay, and that's without this arm being used. Now we want our hands busy at all times. Now I'm coming and grab that bicep, and start kind of putting on it, and putting some weight on it, and putting some pressure, and digging for things, just to annoy him and drive him crazy, right? Moving around the clock, nice and slow, I'm going to go my frog ride. I'm going to show you why I like the frog ride, okay? When I swing around, it's a quick jump to here. I don't come all the way up here like some rodeo thing, okay? The rodeo, you might go from the mount with two legs out. I don't use it much. I come back here, right below his hips, right above his rear end, and I kind of sit like this. My toes are back, laces down. So if he rolls, he might roll right shoulder down. Watch my leg. I pull right into... A knee on belly position, which is cool. And in most tournaments, guys will go here and they'll say, and they'll put their foot on the ground and go, okay. And they'll wait for the, the ref to put the fingers up. I don't really care about that. What I'm going to do is look for his diaphragm. So there's the sternum. I'm going to go right down below where it's nice and soft, okay? And I'm going to put my knee point there. My foot comes off the ground. Because anything that's on the ground, everything that's on the ground is taking weight off of him. So I'm coming in here, this leg is driving in, I come high on the head, and I pull up, or I turn the head, and pull up for the same result, okay? So we already worked here, right below the diaphragm, you'll find it right below the sternum. I'm not posting inside ties. You can start there, nothing wrong with it. Inside ties are a beautiful thing, you're still wrestling, right? They can pin that arm. It keeps him from digging on this leg. Because a lot of guys will dig onto that leg, they'll twist it, they'll turn it, they'll try to heel hook, twist it, and roll me away right off and cause a lot of problems for me. It's just one variation. There's a million of them out there. So I may start with that inside tie when I land, but as soon as that pressure is there and that foot's off the ground, I immediately attack and I'm pulling. Leg is bent. Turn the head, do that elbow in the sternum, and pull, and you'll get it even worse. Okay? Now, that's just a quick transition. Let's go back to the turtle position. Lead. And if, uh, let's face this way, let's turn that way. Let's this. Let's this way. All right, now, other things that we can do into the legs, we're gonna work into our leg rides. Okay, I'm a big fan of that. You don't see a lot of it, 
I've been fortunate, to, fortunate enough to learn from some really good guys, and uh, it's my job to push that out, right, and keep that going. So right now he's doing good. Right foot over left. He's got his gap one is completely shut down. Two, okay, I'm not going to reach over here. Three is locked down. Four is no good. Unless if they're trying to open him up and get a hook. But if I do that, he knows what to do with it. I'm probably in trouble. Okay, he's really tight. His elbows are on the inside where he's supposed to be. So what I'm going to do is get on here like this. I may start here. Pressure in tight. I'm on him tight. When I'm on top, I'm a blanket. When I'm on the bottom, I'm a ball. I'm going to switch over. Take here. Just turn. Good. Even with his legs crossed, okay? I'm going to take my knee and jack him up a little bit. Be careful about sticking your feet into gap five. You'll knee bar you, knee bar is the quickest way to the inverted heel hook. So I'm going to sit here like this, keep this here. I can come through here and just keep that inside if you want. That's fine, that's safe. But now, what am I going to do? I'm going to drop my shin right here. And I'm not even going to grab his toe for the toe hold. I just want to create pressure. So I take my knee down and I start dragging it back. I'll block it and drag it back. I don't just sit on it. That sucks, but you didn't get a tap, were you? No. Nah. But if I go here like this and I drop it and drag it, that's nasty. Especially if I get, I'm gonna be very careful. If I go on the heel, Ugh. it's even worse. That's gonna do what? It's gonna make him squirm a little bit. He may not tap, but I'll get a reaction. I wanna use his reaction to either maintain or improve my positioning at all times. You know he's gonna squirm, where he's gonna shoot to, follow up and improve your position. My knee now, my left knee is blocking his knee. I'm ready to go into my ball and chain ride. So I'm here, I step here, not here. I don't want to go into gap five, I want the outside of his foot. When I pull it up, now I can shoot in. And I want to make sure there's no space here, none. If you get too much space, sit up, space your base, and then ram this left knee back, okay? And sit heavy back on this leg. Don't just sit back. You don't feel much pressure right now, right? No. Okay. I want to feel that. A little more? Yes, I want You should feel like you're almost calf crushing yourself. Now, if you tap yourself out, you've got issues, okay? I'm actually better than more. Why? <laughs> so anyways, when I padlock, I don't necessarily have to, by the way. You'll see guys do this, and that's okay. Most important thing, though, to remind yourself is sole up, palm up. When I drive back, I'm attached, okay? I like to point. It reminds me to drive the hips back. I turn the toe first. I don't just pull. I turn the toe, point, drive back, and then take the toe to his rear end for my ball and chain submission. That's one of the few ones we're gonna really use a submission other than the one I do with me on belly. Now we're transitioning again. Everything is transitioning, transitioning. Offensive mentality, constantly attacking, controlled position to controlled position. To go to my crossbody from the ball and chain, I'm gonna squeeze my knees together, Superman out, pull his leg out. Throw my left leg inside, drop it, feed it back over, okay? I want to get right on the meat at the bottom of the calf. See where it comes out? See the meat on his calf, right? I'm gonna cross my ankles through a very quick submission here, like this. All my weight's gonna come back. My left knee is on the ground right now. So when I push off of him, I push off here, so really, Get my left knee off the ground. And as soon as my left knee comes off the ground, all my weight's on that ankle, right? Okay? So now let's combine the legs. See, strong brother? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know it sucks. I'm gonna step back inside. You see, he's not gonna rolling knee bar. And if he does, he's gonna get banana splitted, the rest of his guillotine. I can step in the gap five now. My threat assessment tells me that. I lift up, I put that under quick, and now I've combined my ball and chain with my cross body. This is a beautiful attack on the hips, okay? Just stay here like this, very gentle, doesn't take much. I always wanna be controlling something in my hands, so I can come in here like this, this is fine. I can pull this in, that's fine. But all I'm doing my left knee, is just very gently, I'm gonna take care of it, I'm gonna just very gently rotate my knee out, like this. And that's it, so his knee is just coming out, like that, and I'm splitting it apart. And how does that feel? Not good. Okay, <laughs> good description. <laughs> that's what we want, right? Now, let's switch out. So I'm gonna quick, very carefully step out, and we're gonna go to our top ride. Okay? So everything top, I'm trying to flow it together as best I can. Most guys don't just run, jump from rise to rise, but I would encourage it. Okay, a lot of pressure, right? Yeah. Now, top ride, well, I don't like doing it from here. Okay, I don't like doing it from here. I'll put my foot back there. Back to the inside, like one hook. When I have one hook, which I prefer over two hooks, 
I have to make sure my hamstring is attached to his quad, the top of his quad. And you'll find that easier if you do decide to throw your other leg in for your second hook, you will not need to touch their arms or anything else to break them down because your hooks will be so deep on the hips, you will break them down by themselves. But for now, we're going top right. The leg that's hooked, that foot goes on top of the ankle here, okay? When I cross that back out, I'm gonna come out, I hit in, and very gently I can pull this arm in and break it down. Now notice why it's called a cross or a top right. And what it really turns into is top, but where am I at? It's kind of top, but I'm not 90 with him. I don't want to be 90 with him. This is where you get your further analysis. If I was 90, it really wouldn't be further. I'm kind of coming across 45 to this side to my top right. From the top right, easy, and we're just focusing on rides, guys. Try to remember that. That's what I'm really trying to focus on. Another ride, release it, straight to your crab right. When I come on my crab line, my knees are below the hips. My feet are below the knees. And that's not enough. That is not enough. Push yourself up, bench press. Push up. He's coming up. Did I get him? Watch. I'm going to go power half with an S grip. I'm going to try to take care of him because my buddy. But I'm going right below the knowledge now with an S grip. And I'm going to crank that. Now I try to press up. It's not good, right? No, tough. Does it feel like I'm really doing much? No, no. Plus, I'm at the elbow, which makes it really tough for him to base up. So I got him broken down here, no base, and he can't get up here from this position from your crab right. So those are your basic ones from the back attacking the turtle. Let's move from top position now. Okay, side back. Let's go side and right. Okay, side and right. So I'm, I'm in here. So <clears throat> in catch wrestling, we're not. You're gonna see me talk to this in a second. I'm not in anybody's anything. If I'm in a jiu-jitsu class, I'm in his guard, right? And catch wrestling, this is his body scissor. This is my Saturday night ride, okay? I don't just sit here on the hips and pressure and hibernate. This is great if he's super, super active and just pissing me off. He's jumping side to side, go, go, side to side, go, go, go. I gotta keep going 90. I gotta stay 90. I'm focusing where? Here, here, at all times. Don't be the jerk doing this around the room. You're not that good. I don't care what your belt says. Focus on him. Pretend he's the world champion, the greatest on the planet. Train to the highest standard at all times. So I'm here. Stay off here, though, when you can. Stay off of here and start working the legs. Okay? Now, simple little things. I don't give a crap how you break the guard open. I don't care. Or the body scissors, sorry. I don't care. I'm not going to go over that right now. A simple little, we can do a simple little uh, hip crank for now, okay? Mm -hmm. For that, I will push the hips down. But watch. If I just step up, I narrow my base. So this knee needs to move first. Otherwise, it's kind of like stepping with your back leg. So I'm here, I put that knee out, and I watch, I step up here. And I drive in as I crank my knee across this way. It looks like my knee's going towards that shoulder. They go here, and I crank. That opens quickly, right? Very quickly from there, okay? It's a very simple way to deal with the Saturday Night Ride. Now, when I come through here, I'll post this leg, and watch, I'm just gonna pummel my way in. I don't like going through a closed or open body scissors straight to the mouth. If you do, that's cool. If it's working for you, don't change it. What I don't do is telling you what I do, what our curriculum tells you, and it's working. If it's working for you, don't fix it if it ain't broke. But watch, when I come through on this, I want, I don't give a crap. I will literally jump right into your half guard because it's my half mount, and I'm gonna show you how to turn it into a ride. So if I bring this knee right into his tailbone and just step over, he half guards me and puts me where? I want you to get an underhook, inside tie, stay on the elbow, jump up side, and I fight my bicep. Good, he's doing a great job here. Lots of control, right? He's even pushing me back off my base. He's doing a good job here. I kill the underhook, fist to the chest, drop down. My left knee, he'll dive under, I bring it in, Okay, get this off the ground, inside tie, watch my right knee. I drive in, and I shoot my right knee out. Because he's strong here. When I drive in, I shoot my right knee out. I still have to hold, yeah? And you're holding pretty tight, right? Yeah. Okay, it's tough. It's not just because I'm strong, I'm trying to offset him. I'm pushing him and using my entire body weight to shoot that back. I'm not trying to break open, it's because I don't want to. Now I'm gonna swing over here. Watch my feet. Here to that. You see the figure four I have. 
Okay. Sean Dock, the Iron Skull, is a scorpion mount. Okay. Where's all the pressure right now? On me. You hear his voice talk again? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> What's the threat? The clothesline. He grabs my hip. He clotheslines me. Ah, I just lost. Protect your neck. Keep your hand here. And watch what you can do. Keep walking at me here. Just keep walking at me. And the guard, half guard, will open. Do I care? Not at all. Keep it here. I'm on top. I'm winning. I don't care about points. I'm here. If you want to break it, though, you don't have to do anything with your hands. Just watch. Walk, walk, walk. Okay? And then you can come back and do a lot of other things with different submissions. We're not going to go there. Was it perfect? No. I don't give a crap. That's not what we're focused on. From here, where's a place I can go very quickly? Push the leg, back swim, watch my right shin, right into my shin ride. When I go to my shin ride, I'm here. The shin ride is a beautiful position. It's rough, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. But my shins are literally right across here, right across here. Instead of just getting right into a regular mount, I like to be here. My knees are not on the ground. They're not. Now, here's my buddy, so I'm putting my knees on the ground. When you guys do this, your other cutting bones are not just here and here and here and here. Your shins. Use your shins. That's where all those ankle lock crush toe holds come from and all those great things like that is the shins. So I'm inside times, you okay? Mm -hmm. I'm still wrestling. I'm patting him down like this for my shin ride. And I'm pushing back a little bit here. Okay? From there, if you want to go to a mount, we'll kick out, kick out. But watch my feet when I do this. Okay? Different things for different rides. First, let's look at the old school real grapevine. You okay with this? Yeah. If I already have inside ties here, which is not the easiest thing to do, but if you have it, use it. The original grapevine is a submission and a controlled pin. When I drive down, I may start with my feet like this and drive through. Okay? Tough to do on a big heavyweight because you're kind of teeter totting. You're all over the darn place. But what I'll do is grab here, pull his feet in, and start standing up for the submission there. If I get it cool, if not, no big deal, right? Lots of places to go from there. But when I'm here for the ride itself, my feet go together, my palm, my, the soles of my feet, and I dig at the biceps or the triceps with my biceps. If I go here, push me down. He wins, push hard. Tough. If I go here, push, comes up like nothing. Not because I'm stronger, it's leverage, okay? Now watch my hips. I push through. Are you comfortable? No. Can you sweep me? No. There's nothing to track, nothing to control. He starts moving, leads to great side control, leads to great side chokes. He starts chirping, it doesn't matter. I encourage him to do so because it gives me my submission opportunities, okay? So that's pretty basic from there. Moving on. <coughs> the hurdler mount. One of my favorites, and Wing knows this one. It's very heavy. I find the diaphragm, and then I sit there. Now, okay, so I sit there. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> it's all over video too, don't worry. <laughs> Welcome to the family. So, still their diaphragm. It's hard to breathe. And I'm being nice because my right knee's down. I go like this. <sighs> uh, yeah. Sucks. Uh. Sucks, sucks, sucks. Sets up a lot of great submissions. Don't worry about that right now. No. But the beautiful thing about this ride is throw my leg. He goes that way. I'm right side control. He throws the other leg off. Go that way. Hunter hooks it, it doesn't matter. I'm right back into side control. Okay, if I want to stand up, I'm here. If he's getting squirrely, he's all over the darn place, I don't like it. Just stand up and come to the other side. Back to my down belly pressure and finish here. And work around the clock, constant pressure. I decide my movement. Okay? Now, from there, and we're moving quick. So I appreciate the way. Let's go over unders. Over unders. Just like so. Here, when I get here, guys, remember what your legs are supposed to do. Let's do that. Over here, give her some camera. Are you okay, boss? Keep going, keep going. There you go. You know I love this position. Okay. Over unders. I want to be as close to his neck as possible on this to control the shoulders. I also want to have a high under hook at all times. It's still wrestling. When I grab the elbow, I'm going against the bones. And I'll show you a little thing here. When I come under, that's high. When I throw this up, that's high. So his chin is actually touching my chest. I pull this up. I should be able to hold this. Can you get your arm up? No. That's the way it should be. My knee goes under his shoulder. This foot is lined to do what, okay? Yeah. 
This foot is aligned to crush his ribs. This foot is my jack leg. If you drive over with this leg, where do I go? He sweeps me. He sweeps me. Now, I use this leg to take my butt off the ground a half inch. I talk on the phone here and drive in. That's kind of miserable, isn't it? He's actually tapping lots of pressure, right? I'm, I know I'm heavier, I get it. But it's still a lot of pressure. You guys want to feel like you're 50 pounds heavier than you really are no matter what. Wayne's not a small guy, he's just lighter than me. Okay. The reason I start here before I go to head and arm is because it's a lot easier to start here and pummel through and connect this or this than it is to go from here and he's pushing on me on that left arm and then trying to come back and get that underhook. He's not just going to give it to me. Okay? So I'm going here. I can padlock. I like the padlock. Old school catch. You grab the head, elbow, goes right into the brachial, and I pull up. I get off my butt. I sink in and I get heavy and I relax. Then he taps again from pressure. Okay, guys? Basic stuff. Basic stuff. The last one I want to do just for control is just your north south bread basket, okay? What I want to do. And forgive me, I'm going to go a little back here. I don't like doing it from this position. We can, let's, I'll tell you what, let's do it from, let's go back to the catch nine a little bit. Modified side control. I push this arm up. I come up here, cross face, and I'm here. Right? Okay, so keep walking that way. Keep walking that way. You okay? Pressure's on him. My elbow connects to my knee. When I start to move around, watch. I will grab this arm and pull it completely out of the way. And cross face him with my hip. My hip is driving his head away. My elbows go into the armpit first. And I'm not quite going to the bread basket, but I'm going pretty darn close. But I want that hip bone right in his temple. One other trick, his head is faced left. Which way is he gonna bridge? Left. What leg is he gonna use to bridge left? His right. So if I can reach it, I grab the ankle and I pull it in. Can you bridge left? No. Okay, you know you can't bridge right. Right? Yeah, I think All right. That's our basic rides that I like to use. All those are the curriculum, and there are more. But for, it's already becoming a long video. I want to keep your attention span. You know we're all ADHD. Okay. So most catch wrestlers are. I hope you enjoy it. Use it in your transitions. Use it to create pressure. Priority one snake with USA curriculum. Pressure and positive control. Right? Yes, sir. All right, guys. Good training.